Hi there. Here is another diagram dissection, taking a key diagram in A2 economics and uh, making sure we know the essentials. This one looks at minimum efficient scale or MES for short. Now, the minimum efficient scale is defined as the scale of production where internal economies of scale have been fully exploited. In other words, it corresponds to the lowest point on the long run average cost curve. Let's work through the diagram. So here would be a typical long run average cost curve that one could draw. Uh, it maps uh, cost per unit, the path of cost per unit against output as a business internally expands in the long run. The red portion, as we see here, is where the economies of scale. So when average costs are falling, then economies of scale or increasing returns are being achieved. And once we get to the low point of the average cost curve, that is the minimum efficient scale. Thereafter, I've drawn the average cost curve as a flat line that uh, hints at constant returns to scale. The business is increasing the, the level of operations, but the unit cost remains the same. We call that constant returns to scale. And there may come a point where we move beyond the minimum productive efficient scale of production and average costs start to rise. Beyond that point, we have diseconomies of scale. So the minimum efficient scale is the lowest output where internal economies of scale have been fully achieved, fully exploited. Now, it's unlikely to be a very precise estimate. Firms will get there by learning, by doing, being in the market and finding, if you like, an optimum output from a cost efficiency point of view. The minimum efficient scale will vary between industries. And this is a key factor determining how competitive or how contestable is a market. In my diagram on the left hand side here, I've drawn a, a long and average cost curve where the minimum efficient scale is reached at a fairly low output relative, for example, to the level of market demand. And if the MES is pretty, pretty low, then the market is going to be contestable, the scope for many businesses to reach that point. The contrast is with a natural monopoly where the average cost of production continues to fall pretty much across the range of output. As we move from Q1 through to Q4, you can see here the unit cost carries on falling. In that situation, the minimum efficient scale is an extremely high level of output relative to demand. Indeed, there may only be room for one firm to fully exploit those scale economies. And hence, this is the essence of the diagram one would draw if you're talking about a natural monopoly. But we'll do a separate revision video on natural monopolies for you. So there we go. That's the key diagram relating to the minimum efficient scale.